This is the peanut brittle lab which accompanies lesson 20 in your friendly chemistry course. Like the crazy crunch lab, this lab gives your students many opportunities to observe physical changes as well as chemical changes in the ingredients that you use in the peanut brittle recipe. Ingredients in the recipe include raw Spanish peanuts and make sure you've taken the shell off your peanuts white granulated sugar light corn syrup salt baking soda and water also include butter in that but the butter is used to uh, butter the cookie sheet onto which you pour your peanut brittle at the end of the lab equipment that you'll need for the lab includes a candy thermometer we have a multi-purpose uh, kitchen thermometer here that reads both in Fahrenheit and Celsius temperatures. Uh, in the recipe, the temperatures that are given are in Fahrenheit. If you have a thermometer that only reads uh, in Celsius, you'll need to make those conversions. In addition to the candy thermometer, you'll also need a, a, a saucepan and then a uh, wooden spoon and then a cookie sheet that's uh, large enough to pour out your peanut brittle uh, when you get it finished. Let's take a look at the data table that goes with the lab that your students have in their textbook. Like the Crazy Crunch lab, uh, this data table lists all the ingredients that are found in the recipe for the uh, peanut brittle and then it gives them a space to to record their observations of what these ingredients look like before they cooked uh, those ingredients and then while they were cooking and then uh, when you're finished with the peanut brittle what they look like at the end there. Let's uh, uh, take a look now at how you uh, prepare the recipe. What you'll do first is uh, with your saucepan you'll measure out the the white sugar uh, the corn syrup and and the water into your saucepan and then over a medium high heat you'll stir this and continue stirring and uh, monitoring the temperature of your syrup mixture until it reaches what's known as the soft ball stage uh, which is 234 degrees Fahrenheit now you will uh, notice with your students that as the temperature rises it'll get about to uh, 210 212 degrees Fahrenheit which is the boiling point of water and then the temperature will level off it'll kind of hover right there and you might ask your students why they suppose this is happening the, the reason here is that the, the water that you've added to the mixture as well as the water that's in uh, the, the corn syrup will be boiling away. Uh, the heat that's coming from your stove will continue to be absorbed by those water molecules but then that the energy then is being used by the little water uh, molecules that are breaking away in the form of steam. So we'll have a definite physical change happening going the liquid water to the uh, gaseous steam. Uh, and then once all that water has boiled out, that's when you'll see the continual increase in temperature. So uh, the temperature will, will rise quickly up to about 212 and then it'll have a plateau. And then once the water is gone, it'll have another rise. And so when you get up to that 234 Fahrenheit level there, that's when you'll add the peanuts. You'll, you'll dump in the peanuts and then you'll add, add the salt to it and you'll continue stirring and continue heating. Okay, uh, Your students should definitely be seeing uh, color change happening uh, as the temperature continues to rise. Uh, the sugar uh, will be browning and getting darker and darker as, as the temperature goes up. Uh, the next uh, point that you'll hit on the thermometer that you need to be watching for is uh, 305 degrees Fahrenheit 
which is known as the hard crack stage. Uh, at this stage, the sugars will have changed so that once they cool, uh, they become extremely hard and you can crack them just like you can crack a piece of glass and so hence the name the peanut brittle uh, comes from that so when you get to the 305 magic number 305 and you're still stirring what you'll do is have the uh, baking soda uh, measured out and ready and then make sure all your students can watch this step and you'll dump in uh, the, the baking soda and continue to stir and you should see just a frothy bubbles, just it'll just whew, it'll just come up uh, in the pot, and so your students want to see that it's the the reaction between the the baking soda here, the sodium bicarbonate, and the moisture uh, in the that still remains in the hot syrup there that produces carbon dioxide gas, uh, which will be the tiny little bubbles that your uh, student should find later on when they examine uh, the finished hardened peanut brittle. So you'll have dumped in the baking soda, you're still stirring it all in real well, it kind of froths up, and then you'll want to take that mixture immediately over to your uh, cookie sheet and, uh, and you'll dump it out. Now make sure that cookie sheet is has been either buttered beforehand or you, you've lined it with wax paper so that the peanut brittle well, can break out and come out easy and then your cleanup is easier. All right. So once you've poured out the syrup and peanut mixture into your cookie sheet, you'll want to take your saucepan and then fill it completely with hot soapy water and to make cleanup much easier. So this has been the peanut brittle lab which goes with lesson 20 in your friendly chemistry course your students will have been able to observe several physical changes as well as chemical changes in this lab. So enjoy your time and enjoy your peanut brittle.